Hello, and welcome to the 21st episode of the Butter Knitting Podcast. My name is Ramona, and I'm a knitter from Toronto, and welcome to my corner of the crafting world. Um, I don't have that much to show today, like it's been for the past few weeks, but, you know, things go on. Um, so I did put an episode up last week, Thursday, so that's not that many days in between. So I don't know how long this one's going to be, it's probably going to be longer than the five, and then five minutes, but we'll see where things go. So this week, I primarily worked on two projects. One of them was my sock blankie, which I think I'm at 21 squares that I added on in total since I started this month. Oh, you know, I have a tendency just to leave it inside there. So I guess we'll start with that. I only did like three since Thursday, though. So, so since you last saw the episode. Uh, this one, I have no idea where it came from. Leftover stash room somewhere. Another leftover stash room somewhere. And this was a pair of socks that I got. It's Felici. I know that for sure. I don't know the exact color. Hopefully, I'll write it down here. So, there is that one. So, those are the only three that I've added in since Thursday. Um, the pattern that I'm using for this one is Sock Yarn Blanket by Shelly Kang. Uh, with, uh black lining um a ravelry user did it for hers and i copied the idea um the needles that i'm using these are exclusively just for the um i use them exclusively for my blanket it's a one and a half us um i think that's 2.5 i believe 2.5 um uh, millimeter so yeah they're shiagu ones the other major project that I worked on this week was the sock, which literally was called, I called it No Name Sock because I couldn't decide. So last week when you saw it, I was just at this point. Now I've managed to make it to this point. I am literally at the point where I'm about to start casting on the toes. Um, not casting off, starting the toe. I was actually debating as to whether or not I should just finish it off first and then record, but I decided if I do that, something tells me I'm just not going to end up recording today. So we're going to do it this way. So um, my contrasting color, if I could bring it with me, is this one. It's a Cascade Sock Heritage, I believe. Um, the color, it has a bunch of numbers, but I just call it gray because that's exactly what it looks like. So it's been growing pretty well. Um, the needles that I'm using are uh, Sock Rockets. Addy Sock Rockets in uh, 0 US 2.0 millimeter. I don't use them very often. They have a tendency to bend in my hand. I don't know if you guys can even get to see that because these are no longer straight. And that's what happened to me probably the first time I started using them. So considering they're doing okay, I really do feel like I knit faster with it. The stitch marker I'm using is from JB. Um, she has an Etsy shop. I don't know if there's anything in it right now, but uh, it's called Just Because Creative. She gifted this one to me at the Knitter's Frolic. So I just thought it was absolutely adorable and it was green. I have a Pac-Man one that I've shown as well that was also done by her. So that's what it is for what I've actually knit on this week. Um, I don't know when I'll get started on the second sock. I'll actually, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably actually get started on it a lot sooner than I think. For the second sock anyways so i guess now it's more about planning as to what i'm going to be doing for the next little while um i have a lot of projects that are halfway done or partially done that i would need to get off of the needles um i'm not even certain how many socks i have that are halfway done or partially done and i really really do want to finish them off i want my needles cleared out but and i have now that i have a I guess my palette cleanser socks, which is basically just knitting around and around in circles. I should be good to go not want to cast on anything new for now, at least not sock wise. Um, but it's getting the time, getting to the time where I was contemplating of uh, knitting um, a hat. The one I specifically wanted to do was the Baba hat. I don't remember who does it, but I'll try and write that right down here. Um, I had the yarn and I had bought it earlier on this year, got it for a really good deal. And so it's coming up to the time to do it. Um, I was looking for my through my needles to see which ones I have. I have a lot of sock needles, 
and then I have a bunch that I'm not exact. I'm never actually certain about the size and I do think I had any more but I do have the needle size that I need I was very surprised because I thought I had something else on the needles but I now have an 8 US ready to go for the for the hat and I got my yarn ready to go for the hat so soon I will be starting that um, I don't plan on starting any more socks although I was thinking of uh, starting a shawl because of course I need a shawl that I'm probably not going to wear but um, there's a few of them that of course are on my mind to do and since um, well I don't know if you guys are aware most likely you are there is the Downseller Studios Downseller Studio podcast um, I think it's Boston Jen is her name everywhere every year she has the um, what's it called again it's football themed goes for the entire football season my mind is just I can't remember what it's called I'll put that on the screen too um, so it's basically like a knitting competition against yourself and I guess against others like how many yards and, and that kind of stuff that you that you knit and you have a little um we used to get bonus points. So that's usually when I, they're like, oh yeah, let's break up the big project. So one of the ones is the hat that I can do for that. Um, I was thinking of doing the, um, I have the option to find your fade. I do own the pattern and I have, I definitely have yarn to use for it. So it's still a matter of going through the, um, the colors that I have to see which ones I really want to do. And I don't want to break into a big ball, into a full skein just to get out like, 20 grams of yarn it seems like a waste to me for that so I'm still working on going through my selection for that I have also wanted to do the doodler by Stephen West for a long time so I don't own the pattern for that yet but I will eventually get to it but I have at least two colors for that and that one requires three so I'm looking through my through my stash and basically going through what I want to use and what I yeah what I want to use and I don't want to use for socks um, and it's seeming like they're they're balancing out as to what I want to do for that. Um, I've already determined I'm probably going to do a sock head hat. I have, uh, I didn't bring the yarn out with me. The one, the heat wave one. I'm really looking at that one and I'm liking that one a lot. And I think I want to do a sock head hat out of that. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the yarn. I made that kind of a plan, but eh, I don't need to worry about that. Um, so then that's, how many projects? Um, Two shawls, a hat, three hats, two hats. So that's four project, four projects right there that have been generally decided. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I think I'll try and keep it low to that. That could pretty much gives me from September, first or second week of September all the way till the first week of like of February of knitting. Um, I already know that the squares on my blanket can't count. But that's more of a labor of love more than anything else. Um, but uh, Sarah from the Canadian Knitter podcast is going to be doing a knit along for the like kind of like an advent calendar, but except it's going to be in in uh, October for the blanket. So um, I'm going to I do want to participate in that. So we'll see how well that goes, because um, usually every time I say I'm going to do a knit along, I don't actually finish it and. Maybe that's the reason why I probably shouldn't join knit alongs otherwise. Um, but it, I'm, I never really compete for prizes anyways. I just compete for the fun of it until my interest is gone. Um, so then that, I believe, is everything knitting related, yarn related. Yep, for now, that's pretty much it. Oh, just because I can see him. You see that little bear right there, this little yellow one? Yeah, that is my brother's bear. He's had it. It was given to him when he was born. And he's 28 now. And he's the, the bear, honestly, it's only lost a little bit of its color. It's a cute thing. Hold on. See? Yeah. It spends more time out in the backyard than it really ever does with him. Had him there for a long time. Um, uh, let's see. What else? Oh, I had a video that I wanted to put up after this, but it ended up not working. Um... My stepmother, of course, is always excited about her children's achievements. She showed, she uh, took my dad's phone and showed me a video of my brother, RJ, the musician in the family. He was playing the drums for the Brentford Orchestra. 
Um, my brother is in a, in a bunch of different musical things. Um, I think we managed to count out five. Yeah, five that go on on a regular basis, which you were quite surprised by. Like He's in his school band, like the regular school band. Um, he's in a jazz band that's outside of school. He's in like, you know, a school like rock and roll band, like not affiliate, not directly affiliated with the school, but the student, but the people who are part of the band are students of his school. He's, and I said the orchestra, he's part of our church praise and worship team. And there's something else that he, uh, something else that he's a part of. Like he doesn't seem to have any free time unless it's like to play, to do anything but play music. It was kind of funny. He enjoys it. Um, so, uh, the orchestra, um, they played at a nursing home, not far, I guess in Brantford, Honestly, the place looked like it was a resort from what I looked, from what I saw. And I thought I had sent myself the video so I could get to post it at the end, but it didn't go through. It just had my subject line header and that was it. I'm like, oh darn, it didn't quite work. But um, it was great for the, for, especially for those who don't really listen to much classical music and like most kids grow up with maybe hearing just the Looney Tunes and eventually you end up defining out that they're songs. But I was listening to them, I'm like, well, I recognize that one from Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah, this one makes me think of Bugs Bunny and such and such and such. Only to, only to have the, um, them start playing suddenly at the end of the video. Da, 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 Then you realize they were really doing a whole set from Looney Tunes. So it was really good. Um, I enjoyed watching the video at the very least. Um, so we'll see what else will happen. Um, that's it for knitting. Uh, this is probably... This is probably, this is a short episode because I'm looking at the time right now. So this is a short episode and that's everything for this week. So it's going to, yeah, it's a short one. Uh, so next week, Tuesday is when I should do my next one. And well, I'll see you then. All right. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>